Hey guys, it's Denise here, Nola Collectibles, and welcome to my channel today. We are here to do a Goodwill Blue Box unboxing. I'm so excited. This was a box. I ordered two boxes last week, and they both came from Virginia. And so these are the boxes. They're $29.99. They're considered a DIY box. So, you know, they're broken stuff. There's tangled stuff. You never know what you're going to get. It could be complete treasure or complete trash. It's always a gamble, but it is super fun to always go through. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Denise, NOLA Collectibles, and all of my content is focused on jewelry. So unboxings, unbaggings, thread up, Goodwill, shop Goodwill, Goodwill Blue Box, and thrift store hauls and stuff like that. All jewelry related. And I am a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay, and my store name there is also NOLA Collectibles. So... I have put the box here. They put two of these little, I don't know, these eight by eights maybe, two of these little eight by eights um, into one larger box. And this is kind of like what this guy is looking like here. And so just, I've never gotten a box with all of these like Goodwill cards in it. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm wondering if we could just, just go for it, right? <laughs> I know I was going to probably re regret that decision, but to, we're, we're in it, right? We're already, it's happening. This is happening. So we're, going, we're moving forward. We're going ahead. <laughs> this is where we're at. I have my loop. I have my magnet. I have my scissors just in case I am ready. And um, I'm just going to try to contain this as, as much as I can. And let's go. All right, so here, yeah, like I said, there's a bunch of these like earrings on Goodwill cards, which I've never seen in my life. I've never gone into a Goodwill and they've had these. Um, so this is very organized of this from this location, I guess, in Virginia. So here we just have a pair of uh, fashion hoop earrings with kind of like a hematite little accent there. And here we have a gold tone pair of kind of like mabe button pearl, looks like costume. Let's see back is looking like that these kind of look like yeah like a Monet to me in the style of Monet they're cute they're um they're in good condition I'm just gonna put the back and just leave these on the card as it as is they're in good condition and they're a nice little size too so um yeah they're definitely giving me kind of like Monet vibes so we have those um, I'm going right here and here it looks like we have a, a gold tone bracelet. This is kind of cool. This is also kind of giving me Monet. Let's see. Just going to bust it out. Yeah, so this is in very good condition and it's uh, it's nice. It's very heavy. It's very shiny. It's a good looking bracelet for sure. I'm trying to see where the clasp is. It's so nice looking with the clasp just blends right in. It's just a little fold over clasp right there. Yeah, it's nice and it's heavy. So I'm not seeing any, any actually any kind of maker's mark on there, but it's very pretty. I, I definitely like it. Nice and shiny. Good looking bracelet in good condition. Uh, looks to be like on the larger side. So that's always good because some people are looking for, you know, like eight inch bracelets. And so we have that really um quick on my jewelry because you probably already saw it uh, i have this ring i bought this at the thrift store i don't know where it's from uh it's giving me kind of like florenza a little bit but it's just this big glass dome with these um with the zodiac with the twins with gemini depiction in there and kind of like a gold leaf and it is adjustable and then it has these kind of antique gold rose design around it I just thought it was really, really unique and I liked it. And I, you know, that's not even my zodiac sign. I'm a Pisces, but I just thought it was so different. I had to pick it up. And so I got that. And then you guys probably have seen this bracelet for me. This is just like one of these vintage wrap, wrap bracelets with the tassel and it's got faux pearl design. So that's what we have there. And then here we have a, another pair of little pearl earrings and we've got like a little cubic zirconia, um, type of accent there these are also hmm, these are looking like costume to me but let's see these are not magnetic 
but I don't believe them to be a, a precious metal because you could see the post there. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't look like it has any kind of coating on it. It's just like the stainless steel um, or whatever. So, but they're definitely a cute little pair of earrings. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think this is actually a decent way to keep these organized. And so I'm just gonna pop the backs back on. And you know what? The back actually does say, the, oh, I don't even know. I don't think I thought maybe it said Monet, but it doesn't. It says something. I can't make out what it says on the back. It's something weird. But yeah, just a little costume jewelry pair of pearls uh, right there. Another little pair of earrings. These ones, silver tone and very, very shiny post back earrings. They say hypoallergenic made in the U.S. And so we have just what looks like a new pair of earrings on card there. We go here you have this little guy in a bag right here this is looking actually like gold to me let's see yeah this looks like a little kind of like tri-colored gold pair of earrings you can see it's got the rose gold and the white gold and then it's got little accents yeah, look at the teeny teeny tiny little backs on those little baby backs let's look real quick this is like the tiniest back ever I'm going to look real quick on the back of the post and see what we see. I just got this fancier new loop uh, I ordered off of Amazon because my loop was like totally destroyed. <laughs> like the little lenses popped out of it um, and like the the light on it was like a pipe dream. <laughs> um, yeah, so these guys do say 14 karat gold on the post. So we have a really cute petite little kind of um, dainty pair of 14 karat gold earrings. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah. I'm all for a little bit of gold in our in our blue box, so that's not a bad deal. I like that. Very nice. Let's see, right here we kind of have one of these shell stretchy bracelets. These are kind of cool looking. I think these are cool looking. I don't tend to get these that often, but I'm looking at it now and I'm like, oh, this is kind of, it's kind of neat. The texture is kind of cool. Yeah, looks like that. And let's see what else we got. There is this very long and this look looks like it's actually broken and it's just wrapped glass beads and we've got black glass and looks like maybe hematite beads and it looks like it's wrapped possibly homemade I'm thinking yes and then it looks like here that the clasp unfortunately is broken so I'll definitely be putting those towards craft that's good for repurposing here we just have a single stretchy bracelet here and it has like little leaf leaf motif going on and a brushed gold here we have a kind of like an 80s looking pair of gold tone earrings and this has the blue and the red and the green and so these are just these are cute decent size little hoop double hoop earrings um it looked like in good condition so we have those i'm gonna go right here because of course what we know this is a ring box so let's see what we have inside okay inside it says Tacoa cubic zirconia size eight and so it looks like we have um a cubic zirconia it looks like a very like low grade cubic zirconia you can see it's very cloudy um and so looking on the inside of this there's something on the, the inside of the band it says 14 karat gold electro I think it's electro gold plated so we have this which looks like a little engagement ring in the box. This definitely has seen better days. The foam. Oh, look, there's a price on it. How much did you cost originally from where? BNL originally $25 marked down to $5.99. It's a cheap way to do an engagement. Will you marry me for $5.99? Yes. <laughs> um, here we have a little gold tone kind of like a gypsy hoop bear earrings here. Uh, and they've got all kinds of wrapped black beads on them could be natural stones got those guys this is going to be easy with everything here on card i'm not mad about it here we have like a little like um possibly a swarovski pair of bezel set purple and you know purple glass or purple crystal bezel set stud earrings those are actually kind of nice too nice and clean looking Here we have, this looks like a badge lariat. <laughs> um, this could be maybe something that was possibly homemade too, but lots of cute little crystal beads on it that looks like that. 
and it's got some clear ones on the end too and that's just for a lariat I think for your work badge maybe let's move some of this junk over I wonder, you guys have to tell me if you got a blue box, if your blue boxes have been good or if your blue boxes have been mediocre or what's been going on or did you just score, score something fabulous? Let me know in the comments below. I always want to know. Um, this is like a just looks very kind of like premier designs to me, but there's some kind of like green stuff all over it. It doesn't look like verdigree. I'm not really sure what it is, but it, you can see there it's got some schmutz on it. So we have that. That will definitely go to crafts. Um, here we have some very fancy looking chandelier earrings. These guys are looking like that. And we have lots, lots of little dangles. And are we missing any stones? I don't think so. I don't think we're missing any stones. These are actually kind of nice. Special occasion earrings. Coming close. So we have these guys, very long, I like shoulder dusters. And here, okay, here we have like a little, a little ring here, a little fashion ring. Looks like it has synthetic heart center. Let's take a look real quick. This one's a say 925. So we have like a little sterling silver, synthetic centered stone, pink stone, uh, CZ right in the middle that looks like a little heart and then we have an uh, open shank kind of design here with a halo and this is very cute it's got like a nice little raised setting looking on the back the back is actually very nice as well nicely made so a little sterling silver heart ring with a synthetic stone that's not bad that's cute okay so far we got a, a pair of gold earrings and a little silver ring this another ring another ring here and this looks like is this natural stone this is not let me see real quick this is not cold to the touch I think this is amber I think this is a little amber stone I think this is um butterscotch or egg yolk amber possibly let me see real quick I'm gonna do if you know if you ever come across something first of all to me amber feels feels a little sticky or like sometimes tacky I don't know how to describe the texture of it but um, once you are familiar with the way it feels, see, I'm like, okay, initially I thought this looked like a stone, but when I touched it, it's almost like plasticky feeling. But if you also, if you rub it kind of like vigorously enough that you get a little warmth going, which isn't gonna, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to rub it and see if we get any kind of pine smell. And I, yeah, I am. So this is definitely amber. This is pretty. This is really, really pretty. Let's focus people. So this is interesting that we have this. Um, I have never, ever come across any kind of butterscotch egg yolk amber ever in any of my unbaggings. And so, you know, obviously this type of amber comes from the Baltic region and also comes from Russia. And with the butterscotch or the egg yolk um, amber, it's actually, it's, it's real amber. It's a, what I believe, I think it's kind of like... It's untreated amber. This is like a more pure form of amber. That's a really, it's a big hunk. Let's see how this looks. It's a, long, it's a very big piece. It's got like a really cool kind of setting. It definitely looks artisan made. Um, you can see that right there. Let me look at this really, really quick. All right, so we are, we do have hallmarks on it. The hallmarks are on the outside of the band. And I am seeing 875 and I'm seeing um, a sickle in a star. So we're looking at Soviet era, likely um, sterling silver and amber. That's gorgeous. Really beautiful. Oh, I'm obsessed. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at how nicely polished it is. It's just like a big, huge hunkin' piece of amber on a really cool setting. And this is, you know, Russian 875 silver, Soviet era. So that's awesome. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it. That's a great little surprise. Wonderful. Very exciting. Yay, that's a first for me. Like I said, I've never found butterscotch um, amber before. Cool. 
so here we have so that's going to be like the thing to beat obviously during this unboxing <laughs> everything is it has to be as exciting as this amber is which i don't know if it's going to be but hey if we find something else that'll be excellent like i'm not you know i'm not unhappy with gold earrings so here we just have like a really simple um little rhinestone necklace actually looks like it's broken missing a couple of components here we just have like a little stretch bracelet here. It's got green beads and some antique gold finished little spacers. Here we just have a pair of earrings on card and these are from Sears. And they still have the sticker on them for $3.99 from Sears. That looks like, definitely looks like an oldie. And the back just says, yeah, it just says Sears and has all the details and the, and the barcode there. Sears jewelry for on card $3.99. I have another stretchy right here. It's got some earrings stuck on it. So just a stretchy here. The stretchy it looks like it has seen better days. It's kind of like very loose, so that will likely also be going to craft. Here we have a gold tone pair of earrings. These are cute. Hoops with faux channel set. These are definitely like costume, but they're a good looking pair of earrings. Nice shiny gold tone with the, you know, the channel set cubic zirconia. And then they have the pearl dangles there. Um, so those are actually very nice and very good condition. Trying to see, I'm seeing earrings. I'm trying to work through everything that we have on card here. So this is just like a little basic pair of costume jewelry ear earrings. We see these everywhere, all over, icing, Claire, it's everything like that. Okay, here we have what looks like a vintage, almost like a watch band bracelet style ring. That guy's looking like that. Well, let's see, how do you, oh, let's see, it's mag. It's like a snap closure. This actually looks very old. Um, that's looking like that. It has a snap closure on it. So this snaps into this piece here. It's in good condition. It's not in great condition, but it is very interesting looking. Let me see. <clears throat> you know, I'm just going to wear all this jewelry. <laughs> that's all for today, folks. I'm just going to put on all the jewelry I find. <laughs> If it's good, why not? <laughs> All right, yeah, it's it's cool. I think it's a it's a good looking bracelet. It's definitely different, and um, yeah, I like it. All right, I'm not mad about that. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have kind of like this vintage waterfall necklace here. I think this is Sarah Coventry. Um, it is silver tone on a nice long chain. And that guy's looking like that. I think this is either Sarah Coventry for sure or Avon. But I do I do like this style. Um, and it's in great, great condition and very shiny. That guy is looking like that. What do we see on the back? Oh, it's Listener. Okay. This is actually Listener. Awesome. Very, very nice. I like this necklace a whole lot. I, I mean, I like it regardless if it was Avon or um, Sarah Coventry, but the fact that it's Lister is very nice. I'll have to look that up. That's nice. It's a nice necklace. I like it. Very, very good. So far, so good, folks. I'm liking this box. I have gotten stuff from Virginia Blue Box previously, and it was a great box. So I don't have too much to complain about here. So far, so good with um, what I've seen coming out of that area, at least. And so this is just a, a turquoise colored kind of wooden bohemian necklace here. It's got like discs and some large beads. That's a nice condition. Let's see what else we have here. I'm going to go right here. This little dude right here. This looks like possibly like a sterling silver and enamel pendant. And it looks like it has a little, like a girl, maybe she's a dancer or something along those lines. I'm not seeing anything on the back of it. Let's see if that guy is, yeah, it's not magnetic. It probably, probably is sterling silver, a little sterling silver charm. It's very sweet. I'm going to go right here. This is a stretch bracelet and um, so the stretch is definitely a little bit stretched out. So this is a good crafting item. Let's see, let's grab a couple earrings. I see two pairs here. These are 
these are kind of like um they're leather backed but they look like you know the um components that you buy at a fabric store just to you know make your outfit sassy <laughs> <laughs> you would sew these on and make your outfit sassy, but uh, I like the color of them. They're like a really pretty kind of black color, like almost like a jet they look. And they are they have leather on the back and they have been converted into earrings. And so I do like these. I think these are really nice looking, very pretty. Like I said, they're almost, you know, they've got this like jet look to them. Very rich, deep black with some seed bead accents. So those are very pretty. Applique, that was the word is what I was searching for. It looks like an applique. Those are nice. Let's see what else we got. Anything else that I'm identifying as, a, let's go back to these cards so we can get rid of some of these. Okay, here we have a gold tone pair of kind of hammered earrings with long dangles. These are also very cute. I like these a whole lot, kind of very bohemian. I like that they're gold tone and they're hammered. Not magnetic, but I'm not, I don't think that these are gold. They're probably like a gold plate or something like that. Those are really, really good looking. Cute, cute, cute. Nice. Those are nice. Here we have a big pair of silver tone hoop earrings, and they have glass, smoky kind of crystal beads, faceted beads there, and a smoky quartz, and also clear. Those are not bad. Again, going here to all these cards. This one is just like a little fashion pair of earrings with a flower and a faux pearl dangled there. Here we just have a a costume jewelry little pair of stud earrings. Here we have silver tone. This to me looks very premier design and you have kind of like the faux croc uh, or pebble look to them. Square, again to me these are looking very premier designs. Premier designs did do a lot of jewelry that looked similar to this with that pebble look. There was, I saw something over here that looked interesting and I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have? Where did it go? I thought I saw something cool over here. Maybe it went back in the pile. Definitely seeing a lot of earrings here. Here's a little necklace. Fashion necklace, peach with rhinestone, clear rhinestone detail, kind of like a statement necklace. In good condition. We have that guy, but there's no tags on it or anything. Here we have, this does appear to be a authentic freshwater pearl necklace. Let's see real close if there's anything on here. I see the, um, it's not sterling silver because I can see some of the finish wearing off, but these are definitely freshwater pearls. So a strand of freshwater pearls. They are knotted in between the pearls and on a, what looked to be a silver plated kind of chain right there. And you can see some of the plating is wearing off. So nice pearls but you know what i think it would be worth taking these like switching out the components maybe and putting something of a better quality on here i think that could be easily done so we got a little strand of freshwater pearls not bad okay i see it now haha -ha. i see it now it's here and so i spotted this another piece of amber so here we have just a little sterling silver it looks like a sterling silver and amber pendant very simple kind of little cabochon with a um, nice little piece of amber right there. You can see it's a nice color and uh, the back looks like that. And we'll see. I don't, I don't see any 925 on it. it. Definitely. Yeah, it looks to be sterling silver though. That's, that's a nice little amber pendant. Very pretty. See the light coming through right there. Very nice. Okay. That's great. We got two pieces of amber jewelry, a little pendant and the ring. Of course, we have a couple of bangle bracelets here. I wasn't sure maybe that this one could be silver, but it's not. I have another little stretchy bracelet here, just gold tone. Okay, here we have what looks to be a tennis bracelet. Hold on a second. I'm going to open this. It's on the Goodwill card. Uh, it looks like a faux diamond or a cubic zirconia tennis bracelet. It is very a fairly large size cubic zirconia. Um, hmm. Slightly a little bit of a magnetic pull to them. Hmm. 
could be silver. I am not sure though. If it is silver, I doubt that they would, you know, there would be uh, authentic diamonds in them. But like I said, these do look like cubic zirconia. They appear to be like maybe like three millimeter stones or so. So you can see that. So we have a cubic zirconia tennis bracelet. It does have a double clasp on it, which is very nice. Let me look really quick a little closer, see if I see any kind of metal marks. Yeah, I am I'm not seeing anything. I will definitely test this. You, you can never be sure, so test everything. I even test things that are marked 925 because there's a lot of fake silver that comes out of China. So even the items that are marked um, 925, I test. I do testing of everything. So, But this is very nice, even though uh, it's not real. It's actually, you know, it looks pretty legit. Uh, it's very sparkly. It's in nice condition. And uh, it's got some really nice, sizable diamonds. These are very pretty diamonds. Well, cubic zirconia, very pretty. Okay, so we have a little faux diamond CZ tennis bracelet. I'm gonna go right here because these guys are clipped together. We have a cute little pair of earrings here with faceted crystal rounds and a little flower kind of detail on them there. Those guys look like that. On another Goodwill card, this one still has the tag on it and this one just says lead nickel uh, compliant and this is just a gold tone stretch bracelet. Alrighty, some things attached here. Some earrings. This just looks like, this is like a rose gold pendant necklace with a removable charm here and no kind of maker's mark what do we got here it does have a little it says steel it's uh stainless steel so we have a stainless steel but rose gold colored long necklace here with a little removable charm that's in good condition Here, this looks like what would be a fancy Fitbit, right? Like you put your Fitbit in there, a little Fitbit cage bracelet. That's in good condition. But I feel like, you know, technology has evolved so quickly that a lot of these things that people purchase to put their Fitbits in, they're, they don't even fit anymore, you know? It's kind of like owning an old iPhone uh, and, not, and not having the right case for it. Um, here we have kind of like it looks like a little children's bracelet or... Just a faux silver with a little watering can butterfly and flower charms on it there. So we have that little bracelet. Here we have a pair of chain and what looks like rose quartz chippies. Those, um, those earrings there. Here we have some kind of, looks like almost like a men's ring, a band. This is also, to me, looking like a stainless steel, and it just has like what could be a little diamond chip or something right there on the top, but this one does look like stainless steel to me. No, because otherwise there's nothing else in there that shows purity, but again, I will definitely test it. So we have that. Another little ring right here. This is, it says size eight and made in China. So we have a little faux costume jewelry, cubic zirconia ring here too. That one. I'm trying to see if I can spot any little matches here. I see we have a little pair of snowman earrings. Some hoop earrings over here. What's this? Let's see. <clears throat> This looks like it could be maybe sterling silver, a little bracelet here, um, possibly sterling silver, got some little charms on it. This one right here, little heart charms. Let's see if it is magnetic. Ooh, guess not. <laughs> That's just a little costume jewelry piece right there with some heart charms. And it says love on the toggle clasp. Here we have kind of what looks like a, like a homemade bracelet and someone took this component here and just added it 
with some elements. I see a pair of earrings right here. This is looking possibly like sterling silver. Yes, so this says 925 right on the back. And so this is just, uh, again, one of these like kind of like puffy sterling silver earrings that are very lightweight. People like to wear them because they're light, more lightweight and more comfortable. And these just say 925 on them. So we have a little pair, another pair. Ooh. I will definitely test them. They're a little magnetic and I don't think it's the, it's not the clasp. So I'll definitely test these out as well. Um, they do, like I said, they do say 925 on them, but we shall see what the outcome is on those guys. We are kind of getting down to some of the earrings it looks like. I see another pair. Here we have like a rose gold pair of channel set hoop earrings and I'm seeing, you know, their costume, but I'm seeing they are missing a stone. So I will put those guys to craft. Do I see any other pairs? Yes, here's a pair. This is a clip pair of earrings. No maker on these, but they are gold toned with faux pearl. These are actually very nice. Those guys look like that. Do I see? Looking for pairs, looking for pairs. I see a pair. These right here. This is kind of a geometric style gold tone that is magnetic. This looks very Monet to me. I'll show you those. So we have those. Here we have another pair. This one says sequin, which I feel like is something that's like sold to kind of like a maybe like a rainbow shops or something similar. And they're just like nylon beaded, long dangly earrings there. They're on nylon cord. So these are cute. These um these look like Stella and Dot to me. This is kind of that like um lacy metallic looking. And I've seen Stella and Dot, they have a cuff bracelet, a really wide cuff bracelet that they make in this design. It looks like lace and they make it in gold and they make it in silver. So I bet that these are Stella and Dot. These are really cute though. Stella and Dot continues to sell for me. I don't know. Do you guys sell any Stella and Dot or have you ever experimented in selling that brand? I see a pair of matching earrings here and they also look sterling silver. Yep. And these are very pretty. This looks like a vintage pair of sterling silver earrings right here, hoops. And they're really, really nice looking. I like how they're geometric kind of looking. Um, I think they're really neat. And so we have those guys. Those are really cool. I like those a lot. Um, I see this pair of little plastic red earrings right here. We go a couple of cards left. I'm going to go right here. And this one just looks like these look like little sterling drops and they have a little filigree design on them. Okay. Yeah, these, uh, these look like silver too. So we have a few pair, definitely have a few pair of, um, nice sterling silver items and earrings here. That one. Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to see, I'm going to push all of this this way so we don't miss anything. Looking for pairs, looking for pairs. I do see, what is this? This is cute, this is a pin, a uh, little ladybug pin, green ladybug with rhinestone detail in clear and green and enamel. He is adorable. He looks like very Joan Collins to me. I know Joan, Joan Collins, Joan Rivers, Joan, <laughs> wrong Joan, um, Joan Rivers. Uh, she did make a lot of ladybug jewelry for her collection. This is very much in that vein. It's enamel and it has the rhinestones. He's very cute. I like him a whole lot. Let's see what else What is this? This is a pendant and it looks like Lady Liberty's torch. And so that guy looks like that. You can see you could just slide that onto a chain. This is very nice. We were talking about in the last video of, you know, how politicians are wearing a lot of brooches. I'm seeing a lot of ladies wearing all kinds of brooches. I feel like this would be a good one for a politician. <laughs> a little Lady, lady Liberty torch. Um, let's see. What's this card right here? Here we have just a silver tone pair of earrings and a circle motif. And they're textured. 
those are very nice. I was actually thinking of sending one of, we have a new newscaster down here and she's, she is younger. She looks like, um, she's like late twenties, early thirties and she wears tons of brooches. So I was thinking of sending her like a little care package, just welcoming her and giving her maybe some cute brooches and some cute jewelry to wear. Um, cause I feel like it's such a rarity sometimes, um, that you're seeing brooches. This is really cute. This is a pair of sterling silver, um, flower motif earrings and they just have this like kind of modern flower look to them so these are really adorable and nice that they're sterling silver oh they're sopata ha ha how about that y'all there's a sopata mark on this hold on let me see that's a nice surprise let's take this up close so you can see kind of looks like a triple triangles you can see it right there like a little arrow so that's great these are little sopata earrings very nice they just need a good cleaning, which I will do. And I'll have to check sold on those comps to see what they're selling for. So that's a great little surprise right there. Some potty earrings. Yay. Nice. I'm into all of this silver. There's a lot of great little pieces here. I don't, it's going to be tough to find all these earrings. What do we have here? This is look, a multi-layered chain. Let's focus. So all kinds of junk in here. This is very tangled. Um, yeah, and I think it might be broken. So I'm actually going to put that one aside. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we see a little, I see a ring here. This looks like a, either a carved celluloid rose ring or possibly even ivory. Let me see. I'm going to go with celluloid on this one. It's very lightweight. I don't, I'm not seeing like any kind of Schrager lines and uh, this is a cheaper setting. So I, I don't think that they would put ivory on a um, adjustable band like this. So this does to me feel like celluloid. So we have that. I have this kind of like pewter finish necklace here. And this one just has little charms on it with little red crystal rhinestone details there. Pewter and the red actually looks very nice together. And those charms are looking like that. That's not a bad necklace. That's interesting. Where else? I saw some, some interesting stuff. Here we go. This is what it was. Another pair of sterling silver earrings. Again, kind of like in this very like architectural kind of look to them. I love them. They're kind of Art Nouveau looking to me. And so this is a second pair. They look very similar to these that we saw earlier. I love the way both of these earrings look. To me, they are, the one on the right seems very kind of Art Deco with those sharp lines and the one on the left look a little more Art Nouveau where they're very soft. And if there's like a sense of movement there, almost like fabric. So these are really, really cool. I like both of these earrings a whole lot. Yay, those are nice. I will have to look at them closer for sure, but those are really nice looking earrings. Great, keep going here. Seeing a lot of gold tone. Well, here's a little pendant. Um, it looks like it's missing a component with a, a natural stone right there. A little cabochon there, pendant. Lots of gold tone. Okay, here's a cute pair of earrings. There's some bonus here. There, this is really cute. Um, I think these are Avon. Yes. Yes, they're marked Avon on the back, but how cute are these? Look at these little grape clusters. And then they just have little cubic zirconia accent, accents. I think these are adorable. I really, really like them. Super fun. Probably not worth a whole lot for resale, but I think they're really, you know, a little conversation piece. Alrighty. Trying to see here if we have pairs. What's this little dude? Oh, I see some, this is, Look at this little guy. He's like a little crab. Sterling silver, maybe? A little articulated crab pendant. Yes, he is so cute. Look at this guy. His little like um his little legs move. That's um that's adorable. I've never seen an articulated crab charm before, but hey, there's a first for everything, right? Um, really, really cute. I like him a whole lot. He's very realistic. Look at the back. Um, cute. Very nice. 
Okay, guys, I went ahead and took a little break and went through all of the items that we had that were remaining and left over and just kind of like cleaned it up a bit because there was quite a few earring backs or tons of single earrings, broken bits, little bits and bobbled beads flying everywhere. And so I just wanted to clean it up and kind of like present to you what was left that is worth mentioning out of the bunch rather than taking you through all of these broken bits and whatnot because otherwise we probably would have been here for another hour or so. Um, but yeah, there was a sweet little kind of silver tone pair of butterfly clip earrings. These are not sterling silver, they're not marked, but I thought that they were very, very sweet. I like those a whole lot. Um, unfortunately, we did have a single earring here that's Givenchy. I mean, this is newer Givenchy, but there was only one of those, unfortunately. I did see this little sterling silver and possibly turquoise heart earring. Only one of those, but I do think I'm, I have a project I'm working on where I'm taking all my sterling silver single earrings that have turquoise that are kind of maybe like Native American inspired and putting them onto a charm bracelet. So I think that this will be a good candidate for that little project since that's a single. And then I had this pair of sterling silver kind of um, puffy hoop earrings. And these are really nice and very substantial and they just need very desperate, desperately need a cleaning, but um, those were definitely good and those were in there as well. Uh, I found this, which was like absolutely adorable. Uh, I can't even get over this little ring. It's like a little cowboy hat with a rope lasso. And I just think this is like so adorable in sterling silver. I love it so much. I think it's so different and just really cute for someone who's into western western wear or maybe lives in the southwestern or western parts of, of uh southwestern parts of the country i think this is just so adorable like even you know people in texas i just love it i've never seen anything like this and i think it's just so charming and so whimsical and really really cute so that dude was hanging out in there and that's definitely a keeper so cute or yeah, i mean something to sell obviously also in there was this really nice Labradorite pendant. So a really pretty kind of cabochon Labradorite pendant in there. And you can see it's got some really nice flash to it. And it's very similar to the other one that I had found in here that had the amber. So we have two very similar pendants, similar size, one of the Labradorite and one of the amber that was both in this box. So those are very, very good and um, this little guy also, unfortunately, a little single, looks like a jade eye earring, uh, cabochon, just in sterling silver. So he was a single. This little sterling silver, which looks with looks like it has to be maybe a green garnet or something in it, that was in there as well. Also a little single. I have this like costume pair of um, just gold tone, like square modernist earrings in there. That was like a cute little pair. There was some uh, vintage earrings, singles again. Uh, these guys, really lovely, and unfortunately, there was no mate. So I think what we'll do is I know uh, Texas Gal Jewelry Lovers Group, the Facebook group, they do have on their traders group, which is like a sister page where people buy and sell. They have like a find an earring mate. So I know it's an entire community of jewelry enthusiasts. Um, so these people are buying blue boxes. So a lot of folks will post their earring singles. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that. And, you know, similarly, there's just some miscellaneous ones here that were also just single earrings. Again, so single earrings in sterling silver. So hoop earring there, one that's a like kind of a filigree. There was this sterling silver little swirl button earring that is a single. So yeah, it's just uh, this is all good scrap silver. This little sterling silver hoop earring, another sterling silver little hoop earring, all good scrap silver. There was this cute little bracelet here, very dainty and delicate, that had this bow detail on it, gold tone. Um, kind of looks very Avon. We had that guy in there. Then we had this little adorable gold tone owl pendant on a necklace, vintage, very cute. That guy in good condition. There was a little candy cane charm. I don't think that this is sterling silver, but it is very cute, a little candy cane. And then there's a name bracelet here, and this is Steve's ID bracelet. <laughs> Steve, come and get your bracelet. Uh, don't think that this is silver. Um, 
but I will test it. I don't think it, that it is, but I will definitely test it. So a little ID bracelet there with Steve's name on it. There was this little um, necklace here, came out of a bag, and it just says Genuine Jade. And so it's a little carved gemstone jade heart pendant on a gold tone chain there. So we had that. There is this uh, a really adorable little silver tone uh, locket, but then it has a monogrammed B on it. And on the inside of this, there's no picture on it, but it does say, it does say sterling right on the inside of it. So a little sterling silver locket, teeny, teeny, tiny, and already engraved with a letter B. So if your name starts with B, that's a sweet little option for you. And then there's, this also gives me Avon vibes, this kind of like, you know, with the rose detail and, and the leaves and it, you know, a little bracelet with rhinestones. I feel like I've seen this in Avon catalogs. We have that, another little sterling silver earring, good for scrap. And then there was this box, which just had this kind of like beaded, let's take it out and see what we got here. It's just a really simple beaded necklace, three strand. And that guy looks like that. So uh, we're here at the end. Again, I really did have to go through and, and just kind of go through all of the earring backs and everything let's recap really quick out of this goodwill blue box from virginia some of the winners nice sterling silver earrings there were some really really great i loved all of these kind of like geometric looking sterling silver earrings almost like the art nouveau looking one i love this little articulated crab how cute is that guy more sterling silver i love this little like <laughs> That little uh, cowboy hat and rope ring. The locket is very cute. I like the Labradorite pendant. I like the amber pendant. Those guys were very good. I do like these like Stella and Dot fashion earrings. Those are very nice. Definitely sellable. These sterling silver earrings right here. This sterling silver with um, a cubic zirconia heart. That was a good little ring. These 14 karat gold earrings were like definitely a nice little surprise. Very petite and dainty, but um, nice gold nonetheless. These cut out flower earrings, which ended up being Silpata. They had the Silpata mark on the back. Those are very nice. Silpata always sells. I did like this little um, ladybug, this green ladybug pin. I thought that was adorable. There was this, I like this Lady Liberty torch kind of pendant here as well. Uh, there was this faux cubic, this like cubic zirconia um, bracelet here. I don't think that that is um, met precious metal or even sterling silver, but again, I will test it. And then here we have the um, waterfall like listener necklace. That was very nice. It's in excellent condition. Um, little sterling silver kind of dancer, vintage dancer pendant. That's very sweet. And then I think my favorite out of the whole lot of this was definitely this butterscotch egg yolk amber ring. And so this Soviet, it had the, um, the star with the sickle on it as an assay mark, a Soviet era, um, butterscotch amber or egg yolk amber ring in what looks to be an artisan setting so that's definitely my favorite favorite piece out of the entire lot and I think that's everything you guys I am very pleased I think this was a great box for $29.99 this is a great assortment I think of sellable items and so some of it will definitely need to get cleaned up and yeah that's everything I really appreciate you being here if you guys uh hung in for the long haul of this it's going to be a little surprise at the end, a little introduction that you may not be expecting. So stay tuned for that and give me a like on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you in helping me grow my channel and I will see you guys at the next one. Bye.